terrible either. I got all of the runes, that's what matters. Uh, the royal physician Anton Sokolov is now in the custody of the loyalists. Through Sokolov, it will be a po to, it will be possible to strike ag directly against those closest to the Lord Regent. How cooperative will the most brilliant man in the empire be? He must be swayed or coerced into telling what he knows. And I need to fuel up on fucking supplies. Look at him snoring away. <laughs> Set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog group. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. As we all have at that. Yeah. Okay, so that's two missions that I ended up with high chaos, and two missions that have ended up in low chaos. Hey, Havelock. Well hey, done. Martin. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Damn right. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. Yay! The royal physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Yeah. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding their time. You have my thanks, sir. You're if you wish very to get some sleep, now is the time. Cool. Uh No, not just yet, because there are things I need to be doing. So they have circle up there. Damn straight, you won't. Num. Oh yeah. Why do I keep pressing that one? Piero, where are you? I'm a natural philosopher, but today consider me a humble craftsman here to serve. Damn right. Good. I need to look over weapons, upgrades, and ammunition. <laughs> yes. Okay, so the upgrades, the boots. Yeah, the boots. The boots is something I need. And so is that. Mask Optics 2 allows another level of magnification. I haven't really been using that. Uh, ugh, that's, I still need sleep darts. Incendiary bolts did come in handy, and so did cross bolts. Plenty more of these. Can't afford a rune, which kind of sucks, but whatever. I'll grab two of these. And then whatever else I scavenge, I can, uh, get back to him. So, yeah. I'm working on a new arc tie Oh, you are? <laughs> Absolutely stunning acts of destruction. Interesting. Ooh. Now that he's had a Ask him how he the making Really? One of the advantages of Sokolov's technique is that they share the same magnetic sockets for the tanks of processed will they do as they use as fuel. When a tank is exhausted, another can be plunged into place with ease in the process. I think I read this one. Pretty sure I might have read it. Whatever you do, don't trust Sokolov. 
especially not on the subject of sanitation and that. Can I tell you something? Sure. I have a secret retreat nearby that may come in handy if the city watch ever kicks in the doors. It's an abandoned apartment across the street from the bar. Okay. I don't think anyone else here knows about it, but I'm guessing I can trust you. The key is stashed under my bunk upstairs. Oh my god, really? If there's ever trouble, you can go there for safety. I know I will. Oh, sweet. Thank you. You are fantastic. <laughs> My new best friend. <laughs> Thank you, Cecilia. I take back all of the mean and nasty things I've said about you. <laughs> Which, surprisingly, there haven't been much. Oh, boy, me. Yeah, 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 shut up. Thank you. <laughs> I've been wanting to loot that place for forever. Oh, hello. Havelock, bravo, sir. The Lord Regent is furious about losing the most recent vote at Parliament. He it was counting on the support of the Pendleton family and expected limited resistance. Just as you said it would, losing the Pendleton vote block was re has really slowed him down. And since the Lord Regent's defense budget failed as well, he's getting desperate financially. It seems that most of the coin he's using to keep the city watch going is coming from a close ally. We suspect it's a powerful noble woman who is perhaps his mistress. I'll try to dig up more information. As we know, if the watch doesn't get paid in coin and in elixir, their loyalty will start to crumble. Your friend on the inside. I like the sound of that. Okay, what do you have to say? Uh-huh. Remind me never to get in your bad boots. The royal physician has a subtle mind. He may attempt to trick us. Yeah, that much I get already. He's only a natural philosopher. <laughs> How tough could he be? Yeah, he's only the guy who created de devices that we use to torture and kill people. How how bad can he possibly be? Good work, Corvo. Get some rest and we'll take a crack at him tomorrow. Yes, mother. Let's see what your diary says. He is returning now with Anton Sokolov over his shoulder. Amazingly. Amazing. Simply amazing. Not only can Corvo project lethal force, he can do an extraction that I didn't think was possible. And soon the two greatest minds of the Empire will be to here, together. If we could get these rivals to cooperate, they could create weapons and tools of unimaginable power. If I could command both of them, well, wait, well, I'll wait and measure their dispositions towards one another before following that line of thought. No, really, I, I would actually like to hear that line of thought. Cause it sounds to me like you're thinking no longer of the Empire and more of yourself. Dude, we're here to protect Emily. Emily is the important thing here. Not you and your fucking ego. Ooh, you have a dictaphone. Let's see what it says. We're getting closer to reaching our goal, but our position is becoming more dangerous. You know, house and feed a half dozen people without leaving telltale traces. Yeah. Riverboats pass day and night, and the looters are going to start gathering once they're sure the plague has burned the place out. I conclude, if our enemies are not dead by the month of wind, we will be. There's a sadness in it, but she shares weathering the death of her mother just a half a year ago better than most grown men I know. Yeah. Once we take Dunwall Tower, I'll see that her life is better. I've always thought that I'd command the Navy in her name. Sometimes I wonder if I shouldn't just take the title Lord Regent and do it properly. Um... Are we gonna have problems? I hope we're not gonna have problems because I actually like you. You seem like an awesome guy. If we're gonna have problems, I'm gonna be mad. Oh. 
the month of Ren, and to counter the gloom, the Boyle ladies host three nights of merriment by invitation. Lydia was most fetching in lavender pants and a tunic of yellow silk. She was pleased with me from the moment I walked in the door, with my manservant bringing not one, but two cases of effervescent wine from the south. In fact, I had come laden with gifts, such that all three Boyle women soon took notice they set out to make me more than welcome. We uncorked the wine right away, and as night fell, we... Wallet! Thousands in a Hi, Wallace. Lord Pendleton has departed for the evening to attend to matters at the manor. Okay. It concerns the departure of his brother. Uh-huh. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, makes sense. I want you to know I understand your actions with regards to Custis and Morgan. They were horrible men. Lord Pendleton shares little with his brothers, other than name. Okay. The stories I could tell you about what my lord's older brothers did to some of his staff, especially the maids. Uh oh. It's beyond my station, but I must say they were beasts dressed as nobles. Yeah. Lord Pendleton okay. will return on the morrow. Okay. Oh, it was here. Okay. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Due to the rise in the population of plague rats, you are warned to stay out of uninhabited buildings. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, bitch, bitch, bitch. La di da, di da, di da. La di da, di da. La di da, di da. Di da, da, da. La di da, da. Interesting. Hello. Oh, how do you do, sir? I apologize for my state. I could use a long soak in the bath. So relaxed. What a treat that would yeah, be. Nice. You're a bold one, Master Corvo, snatching the royal physician like that. Mm-hmm. That poor man. I hope you won't be too rough with him. Feeling that there's some things that I missed. Oh yeah, I have to leave that apartment now. Right. Oh, wrong door. Sorry. <laughs> Attention, Dunwall citizens. Be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense and will be summarily punished by officers of the watch. Display your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times and preserving the timeless beauty of our fair city. Yeah, nobody's going to listen to that. Their first and foremost thought is, what's going to get me ahead to the next day? And that involves looting someone? Ha! I love that she trusts me enough to give me the key, and then the first thing I do is fucking... Rob the place. Ooh. Ah, bone shark. Swift shadow, what does that do? You move forward slightly faster when in stealth mode. Ooh, I could use this. I could use this a lot. That's where it came in. Oh man, that's it. Oh. Dare push stuff downstairs probably. Old Dunwall sewer. Okay. Can't get out that way. Okay, 
can't go up that way. Okay. Okay. So let's see, how much gold do I have now? Eh, it's not much more. Oh yeah, I have to go say I have to go see Emily and see how she's doing. I'll do that in a moment. Oh yeah, that was two. Yeah, well, normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman. Here to serve. serve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna get that ruin. to get possession, I need three more. I'm not getting any of these. No. <laughs> no. I do want the Ben Time one, though. That kind of makes me mad. I, I'm figuring that I missed several on the way, but... Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there, in the city. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's nice. Fugue feast. The GC, the golden cat. Aww. So sweet. My stomach twisted as the engines of the odd vessel roared louder. It was the creation of Orchado, third perfect prefect from the Academy of Natural Philosophy. He was exhilarated, savoring each of the small craft's undulations. Orchado pulled a lever and a great gout of smoke surrounded us. The smell of burning whale oil grew unbearable as the machine propelled itself upward. 
I was too afraid to look through the window, which suddenly didn't feel thick enough. As if knowing my thoughts, Overseer Bryn looked at me and smiled. Recite some of the litany, my pupil. It will protect your heart from the turpitude of the void on our way to the outer spheres. Oh, okay, I read, I read that one already. Whoops. She still has bad dreams. Though it's understandable, given all she's been through. Sometimes she calls out the name. Sometimes she cries for her mother. Yeah, sounds about right. Little Emily. Sunday soon and Empress. But only an exhausted child. Yep. Poor girl. She's been through so much. I hate to say it, but we're counting on you to make things better. I'll stay right here, by her side all night. Okay. I don't... I want to talk to her, but... Horrible, I, please. I want to talk to her, but I don't want to talk to her because it's going to wake her up. And I don't want to wake her up. So, yeah, I suppose it's bedtime. Oh. This matter with my brothers has not been pleasant at all, so I don't wish to discuss it further. However, I really must thank you. I've heard that you found some other means of neutralizing them without taking their lives. Ingenious. Wherever they are, even if they are miserable, they are alive at least. So perhaps one day I, I will see them again. Oh, yeah, sure, if you visit your fucking mines. I got 200 gold. Sweet. 100 for each brother. See? Being nice does pay. Is there anything else here? Nope, okay. Oh yeah, now they're talking about how she was abducted. Sure, let's sleep.